Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this particular lecture, I am going to sum up a very complicated topic for the students and that is types of epistasis. I believe you all heard about epistasis, what epistasis is and in simple form epistasis is a situation where uh, one particular allele which is a version of a particular gene masks the effect of the other one. So the gene or the allele that masks the effect is known as epistatic gene and uh, the one which is masked is known as hypostatic gene that is simply the epistasis but you know when we talk about epistasis there are different equation out there there are different examples dominant epistasis recessive epistasis duplicate dominant epistasis complementary gene what are these things this is a huge problem for all the students and even when i was a student i was struggling to understand this Although conceptually you can understand it, but what is the way you can remember the frequency? I mean, what, the, what is the way to remember the equation? What is the way to remember the ratio for the epistasis? Because epistasis uh, is a non-Mendelian inheritance pattern and does not follow the Mendelian inheritance or the Mendelian ratio of phenotype. The Mendelian ratio of phenotype, if you know, I'll change. So the Mendelian ratio, if I talk about, it is always 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. This is the ratio, the Mendelian ratio of phenotype. So this Mendelian phenotype ratio, Mendelian ratio is not maintained. It is not at all maintained. And here, this ratio will be changed. And this is our big challenge to understand how exactly this ratio is being changed. For different types of epistasis, this is altered. So I'll, I'll tell you the different name. We have dominant epistasis. Okay, just for now, just, just I'm writing the name. Remember, after this video, you'll be able to solve this within five minutes. Believe me. The next one, after dominant, we have recessive epistasis. Okay. The third one, what we have is uh, the duplicate dominant. Duplicate dominant epistasis. And the fourth one that we have is uh, the complementary genes. Complementary. Complementary gene. So these are these four different types of epistasis that I want you to understand which are most important for the exams. But for now, how to remember that, what are these types, everything I am going to explain. Now try to understand one thing, this ratio, the Mendelian ratio that we know about an epistasis, this ratio will not remain the same, this varies. So ultimately, you know, how many number of offsprings we are trying to check, 9 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1, it is 16 individuals. So what we want to find out is the number of individuals in each case of epistasis among 16. So whatever frequency you'll get for all this type of epistasis ratio, add up to 16. They should add up to 16. Just keep this in your mind. Now, without any further delay, uh, I'm going to provide you with this stopwatch because I'm going to tell you exactly uh, the uh, not stopwatch i'm going to give you this simple idea of countdown and the countdown i'll set here is for five minutes because i want you to understand everything within five minutes with the help of this mnemonic so i'll set it so let's place it here right and we are going to explain everything within five minutes okay so only thing that you need to know in order to answer this question is a simple mnemonic i believe you all have heard DRDO. We all do, right? It's a pride of India. So if you know DRDO, then automatically simply remember this DRDO 12, 9, 15, 94. So a date after DRDO. DRDO 12, 9, 15, 94. So 12 September 1594. That is the date we are talking about. And we are writing DRDO. 12, 9, 15, 94. This is the mnemonic for you. You can take a screenshot of it right now. But what does that mean? Let's decipher this mnemonic here. So in simple terms, what we can write DRDO. So starting with the D, the first D is dominant. Let me write dominant. Then the next one R, R for recessive. Okay. Then we have another D, duplicate dominant. And the last one is O, O for actually complementary, 
you know complementary we emphasize on o so i'll keep that o as dr dr to to rhyme it with so we have this dominant recessive duplicate dominant and uh, complementary so we have this four different types already written from dr dr now what about 12 9 15 90 4 now here comes the important point for dominant recessive duplicate dominant and complementary genes we have different ratio so here are the ratio for you for dominant it is 12 starting with 12 for recessive starting with 9 for duplicate dominant starting with 15 and for complementary it is starting with 9 then 4 Now try to understand it. So these are the initial value of the ratio. Initial values of the ratio that we already got here for you: twelve, nine, fifteen, and nine point nine is to four. So now remember, I told you for all this ratio, which is very important, is this ratio will add up to sixteen because we are talking about sixteen individuals. So for this duplicate dominant, we have fifteen. Obviously, one left to have sixteen. That is fifteen is to one. So our ratio becomes fifteen is to one. The next one for recessive, what we had, so nine, and what we have here, how much to get sixteen seven? So we have nine is to seven. For dominant type twelve we have, how much we need four? But instead of four we get three. So plus three plus one, so that is what we got twelve is to three is to one. And for complementary. We have nine four, so ninety four. We have nine is to four. So what is left to make it sixteen? Three more. So nine is to four is to three. So here comes all the ratio from our simple understanding. You can see we can already got uh, we already got our uh, dominant ratio twelve is to three is to one. Recessive nine is to seven. Duplicate dominant fifteen is to one. Complementary genes nine is to four is to three. That's how easy it is. that's how easy it is to remember the ratio of epistasis now quick thing what does all this thing mean you know to understand epistasis you know there is one gene let me write this is the gene and there are these two alleles so this is x allele this is y allele how they are interacting that's what we need to understand now one is dominant allele another one is a recessive allele let's imagine this is one gene and let's say this is another gene gene 2 what we have A, let's say B. Again, dominantly recessive allele. Now, what we try to understand here, how they are working. In case of dominant epistasis, we know that the dominant allele will mask the effect on the other gene. That is dominant epistasis. In recessive epistasis, the recessive allele will mask the effect of other gene. Remember that. Now, in duplicate dominant epistasis, we know either the dominant allele of both the genes any of this either of this dominant allele expression will lead to that particular phenotype remember either of the dominant so in duplicate dominant either will work either so either this x which was dominant in this gene and y both can work and in complementary we need both of them x and b uh, x and a to work our time is up you can see Time is up. It's done. So I already explained you all the idea of epistasis within five minutes with the help of the simple mnemonics. And again, for revision, I'm revising it for you. And again, remember between the two genes, if dominant allele of one gene sub masks the other gene, that is dominant epistasis. If recessive allele masks the effect of the other gene, that is re recessive epistasis. If the either of the dominant allele from both the genes expression lead to the phenotype that is duplicate dominant epistasis and if we need both the expression of both the dominant allele that is dominant allele from this gene dominant allele from this gene that is x and a together then only we see the phenotypic effect then that is known as the complementary gene so that gene will be termed as complementary gene that's how easy it is to remember epistasis within 7 minutes i think it's like 7 or 8 minutes of the video so if you invest this 7 or 8 minutes of time i believe you'll never ever forget epistasis ratio in your life again because it's all about drdo 12 9 15 94
I believe you have a clear idea. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.